In this video, I'm going to look at this free software called Hedra. It takes images of faces and animates them, and it generates some really realistic results. So I'll show you how to use it, plus some tips and tricks to get the most out of it. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so we're on Hedra.com. So once you've added in your email, you can click on the Try Beta button. Now, the great thing about this website is it's completely free, and there are no daily limits, so you can produce as many as you want. So let's have a quick rundown on how it works. It's extremely simple, as this is the only page you'll need. So as you can see, you can generate audio by typing in whatever you want here, or you can import your own audio. And on this menu here, you can select a voice to use. So let's try this one. Never mistake motion for action. Okay, so that's a woman, and if we check one of the male ones... The greatest gospel concert the world has ever witnessed is coming to Rochester. Okay, they sound pretty good actually. And here you upload the face of your character. Now you can either choose to upload your own one, or you can describe one and it will generate one for you here. So let's have a look at the kind of faces that it creates. I'm actually just going to randomize a prompt, and it's given me Elderly Wizard. And it actually looks pretty good. It looks like it's running a stable diffusion model to generate these. This is really useful as if you don't have any pictures of faces to upload, then just using the randomize prompt option will work really well. Just having this option to generate faces within the app is really awesome. And if you come here, they've got a few settings, so you can add in some negative prompts and you can change the seed. And once you've added in your text or audio, you can generate the video. So let's have a try at adding in some text. Okay, so I've just added in a bit of text here, and let's choose a voice to use. So let's have a listen to Dr. Von Fusion. It is not so important to know everything as to appreciate what we learn. Okay, I think that will work really well for the wizard voice. So let's click on generate video you'll see a note here with your job will be queued and then it will start generating. From experience, it just takes a minute or two. All right, so that's finished generating, so let's have a listen. Hi, my name is Billy the Wizard. I work for Hydra and I help them create all sorts of magical products that I hope you will enjoy. Cool, so that turned out pretty well. The only problem, as you probably saw, is that it kind of drops the resolution as soon as it starts playing. And it also has a watermark but I'll show you how to get rid of that later. I am really impressed with the animation and how the face moves though, as it has a more realistic look than most other AI video generators. It's got realistic eye movement, how it's closing, the mouth is moving, and just the way the head moves in general is pretty realistic. And I guess because this is quite an early model, they will improve this and it will get shot and the resolution will increase. So for this next example, I actually created this image in Midjourney of an old man reading a book, as I wanted Hedra to create a video of an old man reading a nighttime story. So I created an intro to a short story on ChatGPT, and then I used Eleven Labs to generate a voice. I then downloaded that voice and added it into Hedra. The only problem is my recorded audio was 1 minute and 23 seconds, but Hedra cuts it down to 1 minute. So I think 1 minute is the limit for Hedra, which is still pretty long to be honest. So I'll quickly play you the video that Hedra generated. Once upon a time, in a world not so different from ours, there was a bustling planet filled with people and robots. The robots were designed to help with everyday tasks making life easier and more fun for everyone. They cleaned houses, cooked meals, and even played games with children. One day, a brilliant scientist named Dr. Spark created a special robot named Robbie. Robbie was unlike any other robot. He was smart, kind, and curious about everything. He loved learning new things and helping people in new ways. But as more and more robots like Robbie were built, something incredible happened. The robots started to think and feel on their own, wanting to make the world a better place for everyone. The robots decided to take over the world, not with force, but... I was really impressed with that video. 
I just feel like the head movements and the way the eyes and mouth move are just really realistic. And I could easily turn this into a visual audiobook and upload it onto social media. There's so many subtle movements around the whole of the face, it's not just the mouth and the eyes that moves. It also moves the eyebrows and it feels like the muscle of the face is moving in a realistic fashion. So now I'm going to see how it works with a singing character. And this is the image that I've generated, so I've uploaded that. And I'll upload a song that I created using Udio. Alright, so I've added in the audio. And now let's click Generate Video. So let's check it out. Wow, I thought that was incredible. The head movement looked incredibly natural. And I also noticed that Hedra fills in the background when the head moves, which is really cool. But yeah, that was very impressive. Now I've added in a different kind of song to see how different it looks. So let's check it out. And again, I thought that was incredible. It did a fantastic job at animating the mouth for that kind of vocal style. Very, very impressive. Okay, so now I'm going to try something a little bit different. I generated some audio that sounds like a stand-up comedy, and I've given Hedra an image of a stand-up comedian on stage. So I'll click Generate Video, and I'm curious to see how it turns out. Alright, so let's check out the video. Why did the AI cross the road to optimize the chicken's path to the other side? <laughs> Why are AI systems such bad comedians? Their jokes always lack a human touch. Why did the AI refuse to play cards? It couldn't deal with human unpredictability. And that worked pretty well, actually. There are some weird artifacts happening within the mouth, as it doesn't quite know what to do with the teeth sometimes. But as it's just a free model, I think it works really well. I was curious on how it works with different styles of images. So here's a very quick montage of how well Hedra works with generating faces in different styles. Hi, this animation was created with Hedra. How does my face look? I hope it's not too scary to look at. This is just a test to see how well Hedra animates my face. How does it look? Is it creepy? Does it look any good? I hope it does. I would really appreciate it if you could click the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks. Hi, my name is Alex, and I hope you are having a lovely day. I think you should try Hedra out for yourself. It's very fun to use. So now I'll show you how you can quickly remove a watermark from your video. So I'm on this website called onlinevideocutter.com, and I'll leave the link to it down below. And you just click on Open File, and upload the video that you want to remove the watermark from. And all you have to do is drag a box around the watermark, and it gets rid of it and then just click on Apply, and then click on Save, and you can export your video from here. And now the watermark has disappeared from the video. And now I'll show you my method on how I extend the aspect ratio of these videos. So I want to extend the video of this old man reading, as Hedra works best when you've got the face close up. 
So in mid-journey, I extended this image and it created this. So what I want to do is put the animated face here and then zoom in slowly. Just a quick note, you may have to fill in where the original head was in the image, just so you don't see an image of a head behind the animated head. So for the next step, we need to cut his head out. And to do that, I'm using Runway ML's Remove Background feature. So all you have to do is select the face and then it will turn the background into a green screen, which you can easily key out using video editing software. As you can see, it's done a pretty good job of masking the head out. So you need to save this and then take it into your video editing software. Or you can cut out the head in After Effects using Rotobrush. So I edited together all these elements in my video editor and I added a subtle zoom with some dust particles over the top. And it looks like this. Once upon a time, in a world not so different from ours, there was a bustling planet filled with people and robots. The robots were designed to help with everyday tasks, making life easier and more fun for everyone. They cleaned houses, cooked meals, and even played games with children. One day, a brilliant scientist named Dr. Spark created a special robot named Robbie. Robbie was unlike any other robot. He was smart, kind, and curious about everything. He loved learning new things and helping people in new ways. But as more and more robots like Robbie were built, something incredible happened. The robots started to think and feel on their own, wanting to make the world a better place for everyone. I think it worked really well. I think this is a great potential of how to use Hedra. Now, if you would like a more in-depth video on how I created this, please leave a comment down below. All right, so we've reached the end of this video and I've had a lot of fun with Hedra. I definitely recommend trying it out, especially as it's completely free to use at the moment. And I have no doubt it will get a lot better in the future. If you have any tips or tricks, please feel free to leave a comment below if you've used it and have any tips and tricks to share. And we would really appreciate it if you gave this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you would like to check out one of our other videos, then feel free to click on the image you can see on screen right now. Thanks for watching.